Namaste. My name is Pranesh. I'm the founder of Cupid Educational Services and an IIS Bangalore alumnus. In this video series, we are going to solve the ISR Aptitude Test 2021 Physics MCQs. This is going to be our first video in the series where we will be solving the 46th question from the test. A door of mass capital M and width L is hinged at one end and it rotates about a vertical axis without friction. A bullet of mass small m, which is much smaller than the mass of the door, it is fired perpendicularly to the door at a speed v, gets embedded in it at a distance x from its axis of rotation. Assuming the door was stationary initially, how does the resultant angular speed omega of the door vary as a function of x? And we have uh, four options a, b, c, d. Let's draw the figure first. So I'm going to draw the top view of the figure. I'm going to draw the top view. Suppose this is the hinge. Okay, suppose this point is the hinge and the door will appear as a segment. Okay. And uh, wherever the bullet makes contact, let's say the bullet collides the door here. Okay, then it will push the door and the door will rotate in this direction. Okay, so the door will be rotating about an axis, uh, the hinge axis, which will be perpendicular to the screen. Okay, fine. So I hope you visualized it. They're saying that uh, the door of mass M and the width is L. So this is L. This is L. So it is clear that if the bullet, okay, if the bullet makes the contact with the, uh, rather the bullet is fired in such a way that its distance from the hinge is greater than L, then it will be unable to penetrate or unable to uh, embed it, uh, un unable to embed in the door. Okay, and that's something which we'll see in all four graphs. If the bullet doesn't make any contact with the door at all, then there is no question of door being rotated. Okay, so that's what you see in these flatter uh, portions of all the four options. Greater than, if x is greater than L, no rotation. Similarly, if the bullet is fired in such a way that it is directly on the hinge, then again also there will not be any rotation produced by the bullet's impact. Correct? So all the four graphs pass through origin. So these are a few common observations. Now let us bring in the angular momentum conservation principle. Now why is that principle applicable here? Number one, when the door is rotating, it is going to rotate without friction. Okay, so there are no dissipating forces or external forces, so to speak. So whatever moments or whatever torques are there in the system, they're internal to it. Okay, so this is a case of angular momentum conservation angular momentum conservation. Now, angular momentum of what? Okay, we are also required to specify that uh, angular momentum is concerned of what? Angular momentum is concerned of a system and what is our system? Our system is the door and the bullet. Okay, the door and the bullet. And because the bullet is fired perpendicularly, its motion will be along this line. Correct? Its motion will be along this line. So, if I decide to write down the initial angular momentum of the system, the door is not going to contribute. The bullet is going to contribute to the initial uh, the initial angular momentum of the system. And how, uh, how are we going to find it? We know the formula is R bar cross P bar. Okay, or R bar cross MV bar. But here we are interested in the magnitude. Okay, here we are interested in the magnitude. And what is R bar here? R bar is basically X bar. Okay, R bar is basically X bar here. And what is V bar? V bar is actually this vector. So V bar will be perpendicular to X bar. So the magnitude of this uh, initial angular momentum will be X MV sine 90. Right, that is the magnitude of cross product. So we can say that the initial angular momentum is MVX. Now what is the final angular momentum? We are now going to ignore the mass of the bullet or the mass of the system considering door plus bullet because they are saying um, bullet of mass m which is much smaller compared to mass of the door. See what does that signify? That approximate uh, that condition there signifies that the total mass of the system post the uh, impact can be approximately considered as mass of the door itself. Correct. So we are going to assume that now 
the angular uh, the moment of inertia of the system is actually moment of inertia of the door itself okay fine so the final uh, angular momentum will be i omega now you might ask will the moment of inertia change of the system uh, depending on x well ideally it should change but here we are ignoring the mass of the bullet okay so we are saying that it is not contributing as much to the moment of inertia of the system and because the axis of rotation is not going to change no matter where the bullet hits i is a constant now this is important if you now form the expressions for l initial and phi l final correctly and if you apply the conservation of angular momentum principle then you are getting mvx equal to i omega mv and i are constants mv and i are constants right they are constants and therefore omega must be directly proportional to x okay and what will be the slope of the line omega proportional to x and omega will be mv by i x okay so this is what does this is uh, this represent this represents a graph of a straight line passing through origin right so it's a line okay it's a line so which option is right option a is correct so what is x option a